Uh, here's my newest big project. Got an old 1987 Dodge D250 service truck with a eight cylinder, I want to say 318 engine in it. So on this side, what I've got is uh, I've got chains and uh, jacks and that sort of stuff in this far compartment over here. I've got all the electronical stuff in the uh, this compartment over here, the torch heads, mixing valves, uh, an inverter, uh, all the electric power tools, and the center console I've got all my Pioneer stuff, um, pulleys, chains, chainsaw uh, blades and bars and sharpeners and all that sort of junk, hammock, uh, pie iron for making campfire pie, right? All sorts of stuff. On the other side, I've got all my tools. On the, the back one, on the other side, I have all my POL, you know, uh, chainsaw bar lubricant, aka vegetable oil, uh, diesel additive, uh, you know, weed eater additive, a little bit of gas, but not a whole lot because, you know, safety, right? And then in the middle console, I have all my tools. And what you can't see, which we'll go over here and look, is in the far console, the people that had it before me modified it for an oxygen acetylene rig. And I bought a rig from a guy, and the acetylene bottle fit right perfect, but the uh, uh, big bottle is uh, nine inches, and I need a seven inch one, so I've got to find another bottle. That's okay, because I can use the uh, big bottle for a bowling ball can a little later pretty cool because it's got this ladder rack up here and uh, another interesting thing is they plumbed it for an air compressor all right on the back and on the passenger side I've got uh, three quarter and half inch uh, fittings or three eighths and half inch fittings for airline right and I've got a big air compressor I'm gonna put in there but it is a uh, diesel pull start and I've got to make it electric start. They also wired in because the company had it was a trailer repair shop. They've got these outlets and got these plugs, these switches for you can test uh, trailer outlets. Problem is that they actually run to the switches and not to the brakes so it's not used for hooking up a trailer it's used for testing but it's got power running back here and I figure what I'll do is I'll put me an outlet back here and uh, figure out these switches maybe for some panel mounted lights. We've got the same thing here. And then you've got the uh, air hoses, right? That's pretty cool. I'm gonna mount a generator on this side and mount my air compressor on the other side. And then because I just put a receiver hitch my spare tire don't fit, so we're gonna mount it up here at the top. Another project I'm working on for it. Another project, I got this uh, hitch and a piece of plate steel. I'm gonna cut it off and uh, make some new tabs and make a front mounted hitch for it. I just have to find somebody that welds better than I do. Right now the big project I'm working on is it did not come with a radio and I've got a bunch of ham radios and I scrounged and scavenged and uh, got me a radio console, an old police cruiser radio console got from a guy off of Facebook and so right now I'm putting in ham radio, CB radio, an inverter, some switches and some USB plugs in the front of the truck but since I am horrible with wiring and don't want anybody telling me how ugly my work is. I'm not going to show you that till I get it actually done. I also want to put a um, uh, roof mounted rifle rack. You know the kind that fit underneath the uh, or between the headliner and the uh, uh, sun guard, sun visors for an AR maybe a shotgun. I, I don't know yet. And one thing I'm trying to work on is I've got a buddy who is good at this stuff. I'm not. He shows no interest and frankly I've used him too much uh, I don't want to abuse him but I'm trying to figure out how to paint this thing all of drab I was 
going to put one of those folding expedition style tents on the roof. But then I was thinking about weight. I got a lot of weight on the thing. And then, you know, I also have to put the truck up there, the uh, truck spare tire up there. So I was looking around messing around and seeing people were modifying boat trailers. So I got me a boat trailer off of Craigslist. And when I started thinking about making it into a uh, camping trailer, I saw how long the thing was and how skinny it was and was thinking about how hard it is to go places and set that sawmill up. So another big project I'm working on trying to figure out, I want to get it done by spring, is uh, get me some angle iron to weld me up, you know, a, a frame, some supports, and turn this into a mobile sawmill trailer for my little sawmill. Now that wouldn't work for these commercial guys, the guys with the big expensive sawmills, but my little uh, um, $1,600 sawmill with the lawnmower engine, I think it'd be just fine for this, which is cool because dad's now doing tree work uh, for side money and he keeps say, getting all these logs for me and uh, having taken a log from Murfreesboro to Hickman County, it's killing the gas. Um, he don't want to do that that much, but if I go down to his house and I make the boards, you know, we can share and uh, make it a lot easier. So if this project works pretty good, like I said, I want to try it again because boat trailers are pretty cheap. Um, this 150 bucks, you know, make me a camping trailer with it. All right, so there you go. That's some stuff I'm working on. Thank you.